Hello again and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make candles with flower petal decorations using the flowers that you have growing in your garden. first thing you need to do is to pick some petals from the flowers in your garden. So as you can see there's a nice selection of petals there from the garden. The first thing you need to do when you're making your candle is to pop your wick into the jug or container that you're using for your candle. I'm using a candle glass. Make sure your wick is long enough for your container. As you can see there, once it's on the bottom, there's plenty sticking out of the top there and I can trim that down once the candle's set. I use super glue with a reactor. Um, it's a really good combination. It does bond to most um, surfaces. So I pop a tiny blob of the glue in the centre of my container, give the reactor a shake and I'm going to spray it onto the base of the wick. It's like a metal plate. So give it a quick squirt. Pop it into the centre of your container where your glue is and just hold it firm. And as you can see, the wick is now secure in your container. The next thing we need to do is to take some PVA glue. I've decanted mine into an old tub and a paintbrush. And you're going to paint the PVA glue onto the side of your candle container in the area where your first petal is going to be and then take your petal and press it firmly onto the jar I'm going to do that with the rest of the petals. And then all you need to do now is wait for the PVA glue to dry. The PVA glue has now dried on the candle jar, so it's time to make the candle. For a candle jar of this size, which is the usual one that I use, I usually put nine scoops of wax into the jug. Okay, so there's my wax flakes now in the jug. I've put nine scoops in. I use soy wax because it doesn't give off a black smoke like paraffin wax can. Um, paraffin wax is good if you're doing a candle that needs structure, so a pillar candle or a taper candle. But because our candle is going to be in a container, it doesn't need the structure, so we can use the softer soy wax. So the next thing you need to do, you need to get a saucepan, pop it onto the hob, add some water to the bottom of your saucepan. Switch the hob on and put it on its lowest setting. And then pop your jug of wax into the saucepan. When you pour your wax, the wick in the centre of the candle can move and you want it to be held in place so that when your candle has set, the wick is nice and central. Otherwise, when you burn your candle, it will 
create um, an uneven surface and it will burn faster on one side than the other. So in order to keep the wick where we want it in the centre, I use an orange stick, but you can use a pencil, a pen, a skewer, anything like that. And I just wrap the wick around the orange stick. And that will hold it in place. So you can see there that the wick is still nice and central and once you pour the wax it shouldn't move. I've turned the heat off. The wax is now completely melted. So take the jug out of the pan and leave the wax to cool. Whilst the wax is cooling, I just want to talk to you about adding your scent. I'm using a rose fragrance oil, um, keeping with the flower theme for this um, candle, but you can use any fragrance that you choose. Um, the reason I wanted to talk to you about adding your fragrance to your candle is because if you add your fragrance when the candle is still hot, it will burn the fragrance off. Um, so when you go to light your candle, it won't have any fragrance. Now, you should use a thermometer um, to check that the temperature is right in your candle, uh, in your candle wax, before you add your, your scent. I've been doing candles um, for years, so I know by looking and, and just checking the outside temperature of the jug um, when my candle is ready to have the scent added to it. I used to use a thermometer, unfortunately it's now broken, um, but like I said, because I've been using, uh, making candles sorry, for, for so many years, I actually didn't replace it because I didn't need to. However, when you make your candle, do check that the temperature is about 70 degrees C before you add your scent. I'm happy that my wax is at the right temperature now for me to add my scent. I'm going to add three capfuls of scent to the wax. Then I'm going to use an old knife. And just give it a stir. Okay, so now I've added my scent, it's time to pour the candle. There's the candle. Obviously you pour your wax and it's still transparent and it has a yellowish colour. Um, but once it starts to set, it will go white. It tends to set from the top and the bottom um, first initially so that you can see you can actually see um, it setting and there tends to be a band around the centre of your container where it's still uh, liquefied and needing to set. So I'll leave that to set. It will take an hour or so and then I will show you the results after. It's now fully set and you can see the flower petals around the edges of the candle glass. I've slid out the orange stick from the wick at the top and then trimmed off the excess. And there we go. One candle finished. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make a flower petal decorated candle. Thank you for watching. If you are enjoying my videos, please feel free to subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you again soon.